Today guys, we're gonna update you on one of our previously reviewed gadgets, which is the GNCC Smart Plugs. I'm basically gonna tell you guys how to connect them to your mobile phone and your Wi-Fi, and furthermore, how to connect them to your Alexa. So first things first, go ahead, go ahead, get the instruction manual. If you've got your phone, you can scan the QR code, or go over to the Google Play Store and download that O-S-A-I-O, which is a sale, download it. And once you've downloaded it, allow all of the notifications. Next, go ahead, choose your particular GNCC smart plug. Plug it in wherever you're going to be needing it. And once it's plugged in, press and hold that side button for five seconds until it rapidly flashes. Going back to that Isaya app, press to add a device Select the desired gadgets from that big list. So for example, you've got cameras, electrical, appliances, lighting, and routers. We're gonna choose electrical. And following this process, you will be shortly notified that the connection is not 5G compatible, but a rather a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection is needed. If you've got an up-to-date router, it shouldn't really matter. It should automatically switch and be compatible anyway. And yep, as you can see, once we've now selected it, we've had to wait about two minutes with the smartphone quite close to the GNCC smart plug. And yep, here we go. We're now connected and we're now able to switch that smart plug on and off. To add more, we simply have to repeat the process, plugging in the remaining three GNCC smart plugs into our desired places within our home. Follow that same process, press the button on the side of the smart plugs for five seconds, wait for that rapid blue light to flash, select each one of the plugs one by one, and yes, you can even name each one of them. Keep the name simple though. We've called ours Goal 1, Goal 2, Goal 3, and Goal 4. And now, you will not only be able to turn them off and on via your mobile phone, but you will be able to set a timer up to when you want the switches to switch on and off. If you want to be able to use the voice activated mode, you will indeed need to connect Alexa or Google. And for that, for example, using Alexa, you will have to go into the permissions, grant the permissions via that Alexa app. And this is simply done by going into the skills menu, typing in the search bar, O-S-A-I-O. -O. Should come up with the OSIO option Next to it, it should say, turn the switch on and off. And after selecting it, it will now enable you to say the name of your desired plug. So we're gonna say, Alexa, go one off. Alexa, turn on go two. Alexa, turn off go two. So when you're upstairs and you're in bed and you've left the light on downstairs and you've got the lamp plugged into the switch, you can just simply lie in bed, use your Alexa. Alexa, go one on, or in fact, go one off. And that's your setup 